Hello, it's Erin with Snowberry Design Co. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video. I'll be showing you how I paint a loose single hydrangea. Hydrangeas are made up of a lot of smaller flowers that all group together to form one large bloom, so that's how I approached painting them. The individual flowers have four petals. They're almost a teardrop shaped petal and then each of those points meet in the middle. I'm just focusing on one individual flower at a time. And I'm not too worried about keeping the color consistent between every individual petal because if you look at a hydrangea, there are all sorts of color variations within that same color family. I tried to stay within a couple of shades of this purple so that it would all feel cohesive, but I wasn't stressed if it didn't match perfectly. I'm just continuing to add four petal flowers one at a time. I'll just let the flower dry just a little bit and then add in a bit of a darker shade just to the centers to add a bit of character. When the individual flowers run into one another, I just skip the petals that would have overlapped the others. I'm keeping these petals pretty close together because I don't want too much white space in between each flower, since this is all going to be one big flower in the end.
Now I'm getting closer to having that big rounded shape, so I'm just going around and adding one or two petals here and there just to make sure everything is rounded out and balanced. I don't want it to be a perfect circle, I just want it to feel round and I don't want there to be any huge white gaps. Next I'm going in and adding dark centers to most of the flowers. Now I'm adding in the stem and a couple of large leaves. I love Arches paper because of how the paint blends so nicely when I layer bits of paint together to fill in these large areas of the leaves. All the products I'm using will be linked down in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. Last, I'm going in and adding a bit of green to the inside of my flowers, since each of these flowers is connected by a small stem. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe. It's totally free to subscribe and you'll be notified when I post a new video. If you try this or any of my other tutorials, please post a picture on Instagram and tag me at Snowberry Design Co. and use the hashtag SnowberryTutorial. Tell me in the comments which flowers you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!